This is an update to my audio gear. And today is the 5th of January 2021. I'm updating because I've added a couple of pieces. And uh, those couple of pieces are, first of all, this Sony TC7884 quad deck, four channel. And I've just put in this uh, Pioneer cassette deck. That works beautiful. Everything works that you're going to look at. And then this, this Marantz 2325 Monster Receiver. And that's a uh, second gen tape there. Quite rare. And that plays beautiful. Two track, 15 ips. So there's the Marantz 2325 Pioneer cassette deck Sony reel to reel Oh that's a Stratocaster, I customised that, it's got uh, I can't even remember what pickups I put in that guitar so long ago Anyway it plays good Okay, I've got that Marantz temporarily running through them JBL speakers up there. And that is a realistic sound level meter. It tells you where the centre of the room is when you've got your audio on. Okay. And here's a TAC A6300. I like this deck. Auto reverse on this. Uh, I'm going to play this thing. Alright, here's a Stow Quarter 7100 that's made by Onkyo. Not a high end machine, but uh, not bad. And right there, a bit hard to see really, they are ESS. AMT 1A speakers. I'm just going to turn the sound down on this. Some nutcase guy here with his invention of the world tracks up. Whoops, things went away there. World's fastest playing guitar. Who would think of such a thing? Well, hang on. I'll pause it. So, yeah, what was I saying there? ESS AM T1A speakers there. They're the rear for my quad system. And uh, the front speakers, very limited for room here, are Tannoy GRF. They're red, just in there, 15 inch, 1959. Superb speaker. You have to hear them to understand why people pay 15,000 for a set of Tannoy Silvers. I've seen these reds go for 9,000 a pair. All right, I guess we we'll start at the top. Yeah, okay. These are all EQs, all hooked up. Now, what makes all this gear work without having 16 amplifiers or 16 preamps is this distribution technology. 16 input. That means the Sony TCC you saw a moment ago is number 13. And uh, the Do Corder is number 3. Obviously I've got a list of everything written down because I can't remember it all. And uh, so there's the uh, PVEQs. I actually got four of those. Of course, I need all those uh, power conditioners to plug all this gear in. This is quite rare and a very good tuner. Umic T1000, I have a couple of those. Rack mount Macintosh C26 preamp. Okay. Oh, that's a vocalist live pro. I play guitar and I think I can sing, nobody else does. 
I made a couple of records, but uh, I think they're number 4,000 in the charts. So this is a, uh, a Kai quad deck. And uh, there's another Umig T1000 tuner. And below that is a BMB DA3000 studio amplifier with toroidal windings. That's a very good amp. I think it's 600 watts a channel. Not that you need it, you know. And then rack drawers, which I love these rack drawers. You can just fill them up. Oops, get that out there. All right, so moving along. Very good cassette deck here. JVC KD95. That's a high-end cassette deck. They're pretty rare. I've seen a couple on eBay over the years. Okay, a Tascam CD player. Right there. As you can tell, I like rack mount gear. And here's the Umix C1000 preamp. That's a very good preamplifier. Okay, here's a TAC A2340 quadraphonic deck. Very much into quad. So I've got the ESS as the rear speakers, and the Tannoy as the front speakers. The McIntosh C26 is the front amp, and the UMIG C1000 is the rear amplifier. I do have a Sensui QX6500, but I've got nowhere to put it. That's a quadraphonic. This is a Behringer Ultra Preamp Tube. And that I run from the Tascam. Alright, where's the light for that? Do you like the lights? Technics deck there. That's a very good one. No problems with that one. SLQ3. Pioneer RT707. Direct drive. That's a workhorse of a deck. If you want a good 7-inch reel-to-reel deck, buy one of those. You, I don't think you can break them. And here is the rear amplifier. It's an ART ART SLA1. You can buy those pretty cheap. People don't rate them, but through those ESS speakers, it's fantastic. Oops, I've got to turn one of the lights on. No, they're on. And I still play 8-tracks. Here's an old Wars Airline 8-track deck. Plays good. Okay, there's the other PVEQ. And all this is housed in Chatsworth rack gear rack stands which are seven feet tall okay that's some uh, surplus gear up there all right and here's the uh, first Tascam 32 one of my favorite decks two track high speed okay another one right there okay and this next one that's a guitar piece, that uh, Digitech Studio 200. There's a Tascam 42B, high speed deck. And there's a rear, where is it? ASI, guitar amplifier. That's from about 1975, that thing plays really good. So, a little glimpse of that lot. I've managed to get the rack ears for most of the gear. Hard to come by. Tascam, Tascam rack ears. And for the 42, that's quite recent, the rack ears for that. These I made. Some of these. Okay, moving along. Let's go around this way. What we got here? All right, and here is my Pioneer RT101L four-track deck. Plays the tennis reels, as you can see. I've got that running through the Rack Rider EQ there. Well, 
Right, and this equaliser runs through the Revox. That one right there. Whoops, forgot to turn these lights on. There you go. That's a Revox B77 Mark II. Fabulous, but not a high speed deck. 375 and 7.5. And there's an Effectron guitar piece. I use that. Another ART amplifier there, guitar amp. And there's a Hart, I think that's how you say it, bass amplifier. And that piece down there is pretty rare. That's a guitar pedal. Makes a nice sound, that one. Okay, moving along. This rack here. Surplus gear here, not plugged in. This is the this is a Ampex ATR seven hundred. That's not a high speed deck. Three seven five and a seven five. All works. And I managed to find the rack ears for that recently. Well, I say recently, a year ago. And there's more surplus uh, rack gear. Which I've uh, yet to put together. Most of it's guitar. Well, there's a DBX, uh, another graphic equaliser there. Yet to get round to that one. So, so there you have it. Vintage audio. Sound is fabulous. Once you've heard real to real tape, you're spoiled. Yeah, beautiful gear. All right, so on that note, I'll sign off. And uh, oh, there's Nancy Sinatra there. Yeah, hello there. Yeah, love. Love, Nancy. Thanks, Nancy. Yep, that's another story altogether. So, uh, and so is that. That's another story altogether. Joplin the movie. I was co-producer on that and it never got made. Another story to be told. And there you have it. Vintage audio gear. This is about a third of what I got. I got a ton of stuff. I thought I got three more racks I could fill. But I don't have the room to put them. Not today I don't. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs>